Hey there leaders, today let's dive into the topic that is close to all our hearts, stress management. I have been a leader for the last 7 plus years and I know firsthand the weight that comes with the title. So in this video I want to share some practical strategies that have helped me and countless others navigate the rocky terrain of leadership while keeping the stress at bay. Alright, let's start with recognizing stress, something that is often easier said than done especially in the role of leadership. So how do we know when stress is creeping in? Well, there are some common signs and symptoms to watch out for. First off, keep an eye on your physical health. Are you experiencing headaches, muscle tension, or fatigue more frequently? These could be red flags. Also, pay attention to your mental and emotional well-being. Are you feeling overwhelmed, irritable, or anxious? These are often telltale signs of stress. Now, let's dig into understanding the sources of stress for leaders. It's like unraveling a tangle knot. Once you pinpoint the thread, you can start loosening up the grip of stress. Leadership comes with its own set of pressures, doesn't it? Tight deadlines looming over our heads and sky-high expectations from stakeholders and ourselves, and the ever-shifting dynamics within our teams it's enough to make anyone head spin. But here's the thing, identifying these specific stressors is key to finding solutions that work. When we know exactly what's causing the stress, we can develop target strategies to tackle each challenge head on. Moving on, let's explore some strategies for managing stress, starting with bringing a little play into our daily task. I might sound unconventional, but trust me, it works wonders. Think about it. When was the last time you had genuine fun at work? By infusing a sense of playfulness into our tasks, we tap into our inner childlike curiosity and imagination. Suddenly, even the most mundane tasks become opportunities for creativity and enjoyment. So how can we do this as leaders? Well, it could be as simple as gamifying a project, organizing team buildings activities, or even just injecting a bit of humor into our meetings. The goal is to create an environment where laugh and innovation thrive, making the daily grind a little less grindy and a lot more fun. After all, who said work and play had to be mutually exclusive? The way I make my work fun is by listening to Lo-Fi Girl on YouTube. Alright guys, do you know about negotiating deadlines and delegation? Two powerful tools in our stress boosting arsenal. First up, effective communication with stakeholder is key to negotiating realistic deadlines. Instead of silently suffering under unrealistic timeframes, we need to speak up. Clear communication is key in any collaborative effort, especially when it comes to negotiating deadlines. By openly expressing our needs and limitations, we create a foundation for mutual understanding and cooperation. This paves the way for establishing deadlines that are not only achievable, but also sustainable in the long run. Next, let's talk about delegation. As leader, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking we have to do it all ourselves. But here's the reality check, we don't. Delegating tasks not only alleviates our workload, but also empowers our team members to grow and develop their skills. It's a win-win situation. So the next time you are feeling overwhelmed, take a step back and assess what tasks can be delegated. Trust me, you will be amazed at how much lighter the load feels when you are not carrying the world weight on your shoulders. Now let's dive into the art of identifying and eliminating unnecessary tasks, a skill that every leader should master for effective stress management. First things first, it's time to do some self-reflection. As leaders, we often find ourselves juggling a lot of responsibilities, but not all tasks are created equal. It's crucial to take a step back and evaluate our workload objectively. Which tasks are truly essential to achieving our goals, and which ones can be eliminated or delegated? Once we have identified the unnecessary task, it's time to take action. An example of elimination is when a person I lead transfers a responsibility to me for something they are accountable for. You can also automate repetitive process, outsource non-essential activities, or simply saying no to unnecessary commitments freeing ourselves from the burden of unnecessary tasks. As leaders, we are constantly putting others' needs before our own, but neglecting self-care, 
ultimately hinders our ability to lead effectively. So it's time to flip the script and make self-care a non-negotiable priority. What does self-care look like for you? Maybe it's carving out time for exercise, meditation or hobbies that bring you joy. Perhaps it's setting boundaries to protect your time and recharge your batteries. Whatever form it takes, self-care isn't selfish. It's an investment in your well-being and your ability to show up as the best version of yourself for your team. Because when we take care of ourselves, we're better equipped to handle the demands of leadership with grace and resilience. Now, let's explore a powerful tool in our stress management toolkit, applying rational thinking. When a stress appears, our mind often spirals into worst case scenarios and catastrophic thinking. But most of the time, those worst case scenarios never come to pass. So it's time to hit the brakes on those runways thoughts and apply a healthy dose of rational thinking. One technique that can help is the team first exercise. Ask yourself, what is the worst thing that will happen? Then take it a step further and ask, how will I recover from it? By facing our fears head on and developing a plan of action, we can put things into perspective and regain a sense of control. Once I do this exercise, I realize that I can recover and the fear is unfunded. I would like to take a moment to share a bit of my journey with stress and how these strategies have made real difference in my life. There have been countless times in my leadership journey where stress felt like an ever-present companion, manifesting in different forms, from sleepless nights to anxiety. But through trial and error, I have discovered the power of these strategies firsthand. Bringing play into my daily tasks has not only made work more enjoyable, but also has sparked creativity and innovations in ways I never imagined. Negotiating deadlines and delegating tasks have relieved the pressure of trying to do it all alone allowing me to focus on what truly matters. Open communication with my team has fostered a sense of trust and collaboration that have been invaluable in navigating stressful situations. Identifying and eliminating unnecessary tasks have freed up precious time and mental well-being while prioritizing self-care has been a game changer in maintaining my well-being amidst the chaos of leadership. Applying rational thinking has helped me put things into perspective and approach challenge with a clear and level head. That is the reason I keep making these videos and focus on exercise. But stress management is not a one-size-fits-all solution. What works for me may not work for you, and that's okay. So I encourage you to take some time to reflect on your stress management techniques. What strategies resonate with you? What changes can you make to better support your well-being? Now, let me ask you, do you stress about your password? That is something that you could easily eliminate if you watch this video. Hey, before you go, I want to hear from you. What is one stress management strategy that resonated with you today? How do you plan to implement this in your own leadership journey? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments below. Together, let's continue to support and inspire one another in this path to effective leadership. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content and share it with your friends. Thanks for joining me and see you next week.